Carl, the sons of Confederate veterans, will argue an appeal to a three-judge panel in Nashville over the removal of those Confederate statues in Memphis. The organization argues the Memphis City Council went around state law when it sold two city parks to the nonprofit Memphis Green Space, which then removed the statues. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live downtown tonight. Brad, the statues were removed more than a year ago now, but uh, the fight lives on. It does, uh, Richard, certainly does. The statue of Confederate President Jefferson Davis and its pedestal are gone here in downtown, as is the statue of Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest nearby in the Medical District. The Court of Appeals ruling expected later this year could go a long way in determining whether those statues will be gone for good or possibly return. Now, last February, the state comptroller's office and a Davidson County Chancery Court judge last May ruled the city of Memphis sold the parks and removed the Confederate statues legally. Attorneys with the Sons of Confederate Veterans appealed last June and after months of court filings. Tomorrow, attorneys on both sides will give their oral arguments at Belmont University. Van Turner with Memphis Green Space said the removal of the Confederate statues was in the best interest of the city ahead of the MLK 50 events. With the world's eyes back on Memphis, uh, we wanted this to uh, be something that would truly, truly commemorate and do justice to the legacy and dream of Dr. King. And uh, I think we did the right thing and hopefully the Court of Appeals will agree with us. Now on the other side, a SZV spokesperson said, the Forest Camp Sons of Confederate Veterans looks forward to the Confederate statue court hearing tomorrow. We are confident that our position on the illegal removal of the statues will get a thorough evaluation. Now the oral arguments are set to begin at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Each side gets 15 minutes to lay out their case. I'll be there and bring live updates on air, online, and on Twitter. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Brad Broders, Local 24 News.